What are your thoughts on headgear, not just for catchers and umpires, but for pitchers on the mound as well? Uh, Chromatic man, I know you're probably asking that because of the line drive that Chris Bassett took to the head. And I, I've been thinking about this a lot, actually. It's quite simple. What could he have done differently in the situation to prevent that? The answer is nothing. He threw the pitch at 87, I want to say, and it came off the bat at 100.1. And if you watch the replay, his glove and his hand are are like this. And the ball comes right through the middle. Well, it's, it's actually his right cheek, but you get my point. I mean, there's only so much a major league pitcher can do in this day and age to stop that. And most of the time they're getting lucky. Their reflex, their reaction, and a ball will just tip off the glove or their hand or whatever. Or it hits them in the shoulder or the waist or the knee. And that's it might it might hurt, but it's not as big a deal as you know, hitting you in the head, potentially the eye, the brain. I mean, these are this sensitive stuff up here. But I don't know that a, a padded hat or any type of helmet is gonna change that. I saw people say, well, can you pitch with a cage? I mean, no, no, it's, it's just not, you can't. So there's there's no way to change this unless then you get into saying, well, you can't have three layers of lacquer on your bat. You can't have such a hard bat. I mean, bats now are harder than ever. Pitches are, are faster than ever. Exit velocity is quicker than ever. I don't know how to stop this, but I... I mean, headgear for catchers and umpires is completely important. There's no question about that. But I don't know that you can put any position player out there in a different setup. I mean, you know, you're a third baseman. You could take a screamer. But usually it's that extra, you know, 30 feet, right? If you're playing on the baseline and you're the third baseman, you're 90 feet away approximately from the batter. But that pitcher is two-thirds of that distance at 60 feet, six inches. And actually, let's let's be honest— that pitcher is even another seven feet closer than that because as they come off the mound, the pitching rubber is well well behind them. So we say 60 feet, but in reality, you're 53 feet away from 100 miles an hour off the bat. It's just not possible. I, I don't know how you prevent this from happening again. And that's that's the thing for me. It's not to go back and look at Bassett and say, well, did he? You know, and I heard, was somebody criticizing him for saying he wasn't in a proper defensive position? I, I Wow, that's a that's a rough take considering the circumstances. But my point is that like his hand everything was right there. The ball just it was everything unlucky in the moment. So I don't know the answer. I wish I did. Uh, and I wish I did so it would help somebody else never have to go through that again. Or that it's never worse than what happened to Chris Bassett. Think how lucky he honestly was that he didn't lose his vision, no seizures, no arteries broken, no concussion, no brain swelling, none none that we were told about. My goodness. That was bad. And it could have been a lot worse, but I I don't know how to I don't know how to fix it.